Funko Pals and welcome back to the channel. So today's video we are going to be doing a little DIY. We're going to make a nursery crib for this little one. She's yet to have a name. Maybe by the end of this video we'll give her one. But let's get started. Alright, so I'm going to list the supplies and the measurements down below. So, first I'm going to take the foam board that I had on hand. I already drew the measurements that I want to cut out the crib and the cut out at the bottom onto it. One side is going to be where the crib sits and the other side is going to be the changing table. So as you can see, I already have my measurements drawn on the board. Now I'm going to bring in the extra strips. I need three, so I need two for each side and then one in the middle as a division between the crib and the changing table. And you're also going to need the changing table top because obviously you need to have some type of support for little baby. We have got to find a name. Anyway, so I cut out my center piece and the cutout at the bottom. This is where you're going to bring in the popsicle sticks. I painted mine's white and I'm just going to glue them on the back of the cutout to kind of make the frame for the crib. Now I'm going to start gluing down all of my pieces to start forming the structure of the crib. So now that the changing table and the crib structure is all put together, it's time to add some cushion to this because who wants to sleep on something uncomfortable? So I had um, some foam pieces on hand that I glued together to kind of make a thick mattress because I didn't want the drop in the crib to be so low and I had some fabric that I just hot glued on the foam to make the mattress. I also did the same thing with the changing table but I only used one strip of the foam. Now I want to add some faux drawers to the changing table part, so I just cut some square pieces out, round off the edges and hot glued them on. So here's a quick DIY to make some nursery books. I simply went online and um, copied the pictures of the book cover on a piece of paper and resized them on Word or Publisher. And then you just need some foam board to glue that onto the foam board to make these mini books. Okay, so now that we have all of our DIY craft finished, I'm going to set up a nursery room using my foldable background. Okay, so for this floor lamp, I tried using the my foldable stuff method where she used um, wooden dowels, but for some reason the dowel, it just wasn't securing and staying in place with the hot glue. So I decided to use the foam board and cut them in thin strips and got this beautiful creation. So if you would like to see a tutorial on how I made my version of um, the floor lamp, let me know in the comment section down below. with the books. I simply printed out some free um, pictures from online, resized it in Word, and then printed out and glued into foam board. And that was pretty much it for this project.
that is it pumpkin girls a complete setup of a doll nursery room with all of our diy creations if you like this video go ahead and give it a like don't forget to subscribe and i will see you guys in another video bye pumpkin girls This is such a perfect place I'm glad I found this with you